All right, hello everyone. I am at a rest area in Arizona. If I could point the camera that way, all you can see is a truck uh, fla that's Flagstaff Mountains over there. Uh, not much to see, really. Had to take my break, so I thought that I would uh, try to do uh, Romans chapter 12. Uh, Romans chapter 11, of course, we're dealing with the He's letting us know that the Gentiles have been grafted into the main uh, body and the main olive tree. Uh, they have not replaced uh, Israel, but they've been uh, put there. Uh, and Israel will come back uh, at, after the rapture. And now uh, we're in verse 12, and he said, I beseech you, therefore, remember, if you ever see that word, therefore, always find out what it's there for. And I just explained to you what we dealt with in the last chapter. So that's what he's talking about. Uh, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service a living sacrifice when he wrote this book to uh, remember he's writing to all that is at Rome so he's writing to everybody at Rome saved and unsaved there were people getting killed for real uh, uh, the Nero was killing uh, Christians left and right they were being blamed for everything so he's not just saying this like uh, you know spiritually speaking you might have to become a living sacrifice but he is talking about uh, living for the Lord he said uh, uh, present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service a lot of people uh, attack uh, us Baptists and say, well, you believe in once saved, always saved, so you believe you can get saved and do whatever you want. Well, we do not. We believe in living a holy life. We just know that you cannot <laughs> uh, do it perfect. We're not perfect, and that's all we're saying. And be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed. So you must be a living sacrifice wholly acceptable which is your reasonable service it's reasonable to die for Christ do you know that uh, if someone says do you believe in Jesus or die you believe in Jesus and be not conformed to this world boy that's hard to do when you live in this world uh, stay off the TV folks uh, turn that radio off when it starts when you know, the Holy Spirit will let you know when there's something you're not supposed to be watching or looking at or uh, reading or listening to. Don't be conformed to this world, but there's that conjunction joining two sentences together. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do you get transformed by the renewing of your mind? Read His Word. Get in God's Word. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say there, there's a paragraph separation here. So he's starting a whole new thought now. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you. Not to think himself more highly than he ought to think. But to think soberly according to as God hath dealt to every man a measure of faith. He just said a mouthful there. <laughs> he said, uh, For I say through the grace that was given unto me, uh, an apostle to the Gentile, uh, to every man that is among you, not to think himself more highly than he ought to think. Boy, have you ever met, especially some high minded Christians? that they're so sophisticated they're so uh, into themselves and their word is the last word on everything but also what we learn from this verse is that God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith 
every man lost, saved, whatever, they're given a little bit of faith. You have the faith to come to Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, you have to uh, reject him. For as we have uh, many bodies in, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> for as we have many members in one body, <coughs> and all members have not the same office, we are the body of Christ. He's going to go into talking about the body of Christ now. <clears throat> so we being many are one body in Christ and every one members one of another. <clears throat> Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. Whether prophecy, let, it, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Listen, everybody's different. We're all made different for a reason uh, I don't teach like somebody else does and there's a reason for that uh, I'm not a big uh, uh, genius when it comes to using the English language uh, but there are people out there that are uh, there's different ministries for different people and God will use you for what he the gifts he's given to you or ministry let us uh, wait on our ministering. Notice he's waiting. That's one of the hardest things to do uh, with the Lord is to wait on the Lord. Have you ever tried to rush a prayer? I mean rush a, an answer to prayer? Uh, sometimes God teaches us patience through uh, sometimes he don't answer the prayer for years and years and years. Let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhor exhortation, he that, that's preaching, I think, uh, teaching the word of God, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity, <laughs> he that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Uh, if you show, show mercy to someone, sorry, I had something on my glasses. <laughs> I do it with cheerfulness. Don't, uh, you know, woe, oh, woe is you and uh, woe is me. You're, you're, let them know what's happening. Uh, let love be without dissimulation. That's a big word. Adhor that which is evil. Hate it. Hate that which is evil. Cleave. Hold on to. Grab on to that which is good. I looked up dissimulation. It means concealing of one's thoughts. Don't conceal your thoughts. Uh, be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another, preferring someone else above yourself, especially on this YouTube. There are, and I'm sure they're Christians, folks, dedicated their channel to attacking other Christians. If they disagree a little bit on doctrine, and it doesn't have to be that much, they're heretics and they're on their way to hell and they have a demon uh, and the attacks. They have nothing, they don't know anything about the Spirit of the Lord because uh, the Spirit of the Lord brings peace. It brings love. It brings unity. Never does it bring division. Uh, they're not mature Christians. Like I made that video the other day, they are babes in Christ still. And they're trying to teach other people. And they got a little followings. And, uh, anyway, God bless them. I hope they get right with the Lord. Because that, when you're filled with the Spirit of God, you will feel nothing but love one towards another. And if somebody disagrees with you, you don't have to attack them. Uh, just pray for them. All right, let's stop the uh, the bickering within the church. That just it's not doing anything for the body of Christ. Rejoicing in hope, patient and patient in tribulation. I folks am learning that the hard way, and uh, I've never been a patient person. But I have to learn to you know. It is what it is, they say. <laughs> I can't do anything to change it, so you got to just go through it. And you don't have to go through it screaming and cussing. Uh, 
being all upset, just, you know, do it with a little finesse, being filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality. Uh, we don't see a whole lot of that anymore. Uh, if somebody is in need of something and you can help them out, do it. And do it cheerfully. Don't do it and then brag about it. Bless them which persecute you. Boy, this is hard. Bless and curse not. If somebody persecutes you, it's hard to bless them, ain't it? Let's be honest, but we're supposed to. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. I be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. You might have a little more knowledge than somebody else, but you don't have to be high-minded. You don't have to uh, raise your nose up and man I'm talking to you Baptists out there because I'm a Baptist. The independent Baptists are the world's worst of uh, snubbing people and uh, looking on the outward side. And you know that if you're in that church. Uh, there's a lot of uh, great people in the church and everything. And that I, I agree with most of their doctrine, but they will uh, put their nose up to somebody that's not got their hair cut exactly like they do or they don't wear a suit and tie like they do and they don't brush their teeth like they do and uh, their kids don't wear uh, the clothes they have. I mean that not everybody but that's real prominent in the Baptist church uh, and I can say that I'm Baptist that's why I know I've been in a lot of Baptist churches alright be not wise in your own conceit don't be a conceited jackass and there's a lot of that going on in the church today. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Be an honest person. Uh, don't lie. Don't lie about your taxes or anything. That, ain't that something. If it be possible as much as lieth in you. Now if it be possible as much as lieth in you. Live peaceably with all men. I mean, if somebody comes up and smacks you in the face, you have to leave. You can defend yourself. Jesus said in Luke, uh, he said that uh, sell your garment and buy a sword. So we can defend ourselves today. Uh, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. Uh, just if you can, an old country boy told me one time, he said, it's like Doc water down a duck's back just let it roll off for it is written vengeance is mine I will repay saith the Lord yeah vengeance you don't have to have vengeance on anybody the Lord will take care of it don't worry about it therefore if thine enemy hunger feed him oh <laughs> this is the church age he's talking to this is us folks we're supposed to feed our enemies uh, if he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head. Uh, that's in Proverbs. Well, 25, there it is right there. 25, uh, 21 and 22. Uh, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. If you can apply these principles that are found in the chapter 12 of Romans you will become a mature Christian this is talking to ministers to teachers uh, to all those that work in the church if you can apply this chapter to your life you will become what I would call a uh, a mature Christian okay yeah it's time for me to go back to work uh, everything's not I wish I could sit here and just uh, do one right after another of these but uh, I got a big family I got to support <laughs> all right Lord bless you guys uh, I love you I thank you for watching I really do especially my 
faithful few that watch every one of these. It means so much to me. And uh, read these Bibles, folks, and pray without ceasing. May the Lord bless everyone on the other side of the screen. Amen, amen.